Hello everybody, my name is Eddie Soler from Solera Soler CDL School. Uh, we're going to do today a pre-tree inspection to the 2024. Okay, we're here inside the cap. I'm going to mark here, air brake check. It's the first thing we're going to do. Okay. To do that, I'm going to put the electric mode, the niche on all. I'm going to check for my ABS light on and off, and my DEF light on and went off. Okay. So now I'm going to make sure my valves are set, the vehicle in neutral. I'm going to start the vehicle. Okay. okay I've started the vehicle. So now I'm going to check my two air gauges to build the air pressure to go and cut off between 120 to 140 psi. Okay. Working properly. Okay. I hear the governor cut off between 120 to 140 psi. So we're good. Now I'm gonna turn off the engine, back on in electric mode. I'm gonna check my two air gauges. Okay, now I'm gonna release tractor parking brake, trailer parking brake, and push and hold the brake. I'm waiting for the air gauge to stabilize. Okay, they are stabilized around 100 psi. This one around 105 psi. So now I'm gonna hold the brake for one minute. I cannot lose more than four psi. I'm gonna start now. Okay, after one minute, I did not lose more than four psi, so it's working properly. So now I'm gonna find the brake to check for my lower one light or buzzer. They are most activated before, at or before 55 psi. So to do that, I'm going to find in the brake. I'm going to check for my gauges. At or before 55 psi, my alarm most activated. Okay. So I hear the alarm around 60 psi. So it's working properly. I can see the the alarm, the light. Okay. So it's working properly. Now I'm going to continue finding the brake between between 20 to 45 psi. My spring brakes valves pop out between 20 to 45 psi. No more than 45 psi, no less than 20 psi. I'm going to continue finding the brake. Watching the bulbs, watching the gauges. Okay, they did pop out around 25 psi. So it's working properly. Okay, now. We finish with that part. Now we're gonna check for parking and trailer parking uh, and trailer brake check. Now I'm gonna crank the engine again. You're gonna build the air pressure to go and cut off within 120 to 140 psi. Okay, I got my, my proper air pressure within 120 to 140 psi. I hear the governor cut off. So now first I'm gonna check for my tractor parking brake. To do that, I'm gonna release trailer parking brake. I'm going to put the vehicle in drive. I'm going to try to move forward. So it doesn't move. It doesn't move. It means the uh, tractor parking brake is working properly. I'm going to set the trailer parking brake. Release my tractor parking brake. Back in neutral. Put the vehicle in drive again. I'm going to try to move the. So it doesn't move. So it means it's working properly. Now, we're going to check for the service brake. To do that, I'm going to release both tractor and trailer parking brake. I'm going to put the vehicle in drive. I'm going to drive five miles per hour forward. I'm going to hit the brake and the truck, the steering wheel cannot move to the right or to the left. I'm going to do that. So hold on the camera. So around five miles per hour, we're going to hit the brake. So it doesn't move to the right or to the left, so it's working properly. So here we finish with that. Now we finish with the parking trailer brake and we finish with the service brake check. Now I'm going to check for light indicators. See, light indicators. Now I'm going to check for my left turn signal. 
my right turn signal, full wheel flasher or emergency light, they working properly. See, I can see. I'm going to check for my headlights and my high beam indicator. So it's working properly. Okay. So I finish with the part. Now I'm going to check for my emergency equipment. So I'm going to check for my fire extinguisher. It's right there. It's secure. Fully charged. I'm going to check for my three red refractor triangles. It's going to be back in there. And I'm going to check for spare fuses. So that's an emergency equipment. Now I'm going to check for my windshield and traffic monitoring devices. That means the mirrors. Okay, my windshield. I can see that my windshield is clean. There are, this, no, there are no cracks or flaws on the glass. And there are no illegal stickers, only DOT stickers. Okay, now I'm going to check for my traffic monitoring devices, in this case, the mirrors, they are clean, they are adjusted to me. Both mirrors and that one on the front. Clean and adjusted to me. Okay, so I finished with the part. So now I'm going to check for the wipers and washer fluid. So my wipers arm and blades are secure. They are not damaged, and they are working properly. Move, smoothly working properly. Now I'm going to check for my washer fluid. Wiper washer fluid is the uh, wiper washer fluid is not working, so I need to add washer fluid. So now I'm going to check for heater and defroster. I'm going to put the heater and defroster. So the heater is working properly. The defroster is working properly. I'm back in AC. So here on the defroster, let me get this check mark. I see this better. So I check this, I check this. Check here on the defroster. I say I want to check horns now. City horn and country horn. It's working properly. Okay, now I'm gonna check for light operation check. All external lights. In this case, the examiner must uh, help us. I'm gonna check all around the, uh, the vehicle with the help. For left turn signal, right turn signal, forward flasher, emergency, headlights, high beam indicator, clearance light, all around the vehicle you have to check that with the examiner. He need to help you. Okay? All the lights, brake lights, everything. So we're gonna continue. Right now we finish with this part. Okay? Now I'm going to check for the front of the vehicle and aging area. Now again, the front of the vehicle, now I'm going to check for my lenses. Okay, all my lenses, all my lenses are, are the proper color, clears and headlights. All my lenses are the proper color, clean, no broken and no missing. Now I'm going to check for my fluid levels. Fluid levels. So I'm going to open the hook, okay, right here in the engine area, I'm going to check for the fluid level, I'm going to first check for the, this is the, the district for the oil level, I'm going to check that, I need to clean, go in and put it back again, I'm going to check for between minimum and max or between add and full, it's the same, the proper level has to be, this one need to add a little little more oil so now I'm gonna check for my power steering reservoir the level this, this doesn't have the district so for, because I can see through side glass right there so right now I'm gonna check for a proper level between add and full or or minimum and maximum it's the same so now for the coolant reservoir right here I'm gonna check for the proper level coolant between add and full or minimum and maximum it's the same so now we're going to check for fluid and air leaks. Okay, I'm going to check for on the side of the vehicle. For no poros on the ground, no poros on the ground, no leaks. I cannot see any poros or leaks uh, under the engine area and transmission area. Okay, in this area, 
passenger side and and driver side i'm going to check for my all my hoses and connections and no crack worm or leaking both area in general and now we're going to check for the steering system right there i'm going to check more i'm going to check first for the steering box it's securely mounted and not leaking and the steering hoses is two hoses and connection and no crack worn or leaking okay i continue with the steering system here all my nuts all my nuts bolts correct keys castle nuts all the hardware are, are no missing there are no crack or no missing bolts or nuts or correct keys okay and connecting links arms and roads from the steering box and no crack and the joints and sockets are no worn or loose talk about the, the sockets ball joints are no worn or loose sockets the ball joints continue with the steering axle with the tire i'm gonna check here the check mark the tire okay now i'm gonna check first i'm gonna check for the inflation i'm gonna check for the proper inflation using a, a tire gauge I'm going to make sure my valve steam are no crack. It's visible and no crack or broken. The cap is pressing and tight. There's no leaks. Okay. I'm going to check now for condition. Okay. I'm going to say in the sidewalk and the tread, and the, and the tread there are no, no damage that is post body place. There are no cuts, no bumps, and no bulges on the sidewalk, on the tread. And now I'm going to check for a minimum thread depth for 30 seconds with the thread depth gauge okay okay now continue gonna continue with the rim you're gonna do here the check mark see it's easy gonna check for the rim there are no crack on the rims no bends no welding no illegal welds okay now we're gonna continue with the lug nuts okay or okay first you're gonna check for all my lug nuts are pressing and tight. Okay, you can see I press it and tight. There are no sign or any rust threads or shiny threads. Okay, and there are no broken studs. Right here, no broken studs. No. For my leaf springs, there are no crack or broken. There are no shifted, no scissoring. There are no missing any leaf springs. Now I'm gonna check here for my spring mount, right here front on the back and on the back the spring mount i'll securely mounted no crack or broken no missing any hardware okay now i'm going to check for my shock absorber right here my shock absorber is secure there are no damage and no leaking and now i'm going to check for my vehicle is in level side to side front to back okay that means has to be in level side to side and front to back okay now i'm going to check for the brake hoses and leaks i'm here i'm going to check for the, my brake hose when i first i'm going to check for can supply air to the brake chamber and it's not leaking there are no there's no crack warm or frayed and the couplings and fittings are secure we finish with the sitting axle we're going to check for brake contaminants Come here, I'm gonna check here, right here, for no oil, no grease, we had a cover over here. So inside the drum, brake pads, and everything, we could looking for no oil and no grease. They can affect the brake uh, system, okay? Okay, on the side of the trailer and tractor, I'm gonna check here, you see? Side of the vehicle, tractor and trailer, for lenses. So I'm gonna check. All my lenses, all my lenses. The cleanest over there. Right here. And on the back. So they are the proper color. Clean and no missing. And no broken. No crack broken. Try for monitoring devices. I mean my mirrors. Okay, wanna check here. For the middle bracket, middle bracket securely mounted, no crack, bang or broken, no missing any hardware. Can see here the glass, the mirror glass. There's no crack, clean, no, uh, no damage, no broken. Okay. Now continue. We're gonna check for battery. Right here. I will open this door. 
I'm gonna open here. I'm gonna make sure my all my batteries are secure. Okay, I can see right there my connection or my connection are tight and no show or excessive corrosion. And see right there. So now I'm gonna check for my all my electric system cables, lines or are not crack warm or loose. And I'm gonna check also for the cover. Is secure. Let me hear secure. And the door is secure. Continue, we're gonna check for the fuel tank and DEF tank. In this case, we have the DEF tank. First, gonna check for my fuel tank is right here. I can see the cap is pressing and tight. The fuel tank is securely mounted, there's no leaks. I can see no leaks right there, and no leaks from uh, the uh, fuel lines. In the fuel lines, no leaks either. So also, we're gonna check here for the DEF tank. You can see the cap is pressing and tight. It's secure and has no leaks. No leaks on the tank and no leaks on uh, the DEF lines, fuel lines. Okay. Now we're gonna check with the frames. Tractor and trailer frames, okay? Okay, tractor frame, frame members, the rail, cross members, they are from no cracked, bang, or broken, no broken wells, no illegal wells, in the frames, no holes on the floor or the trailer, the cargo area, okay? And right here, you're gonna check for release lever the pins are secure right here we got a standard release right here the pins are secure and the frame the same no crack bend no legal wells no broken wells no holes and no holes in the cargo area cross members no crack bend or broken no broken wells no no holes okay okay let's go we're going to continue with the uh, combination combination vehicle only air and electric line connectors okay come here we're going to check for air and electrical connectors to the power unit to the trailer. Okay, all my connectors, electric and hoses connect, right? They are seated, they are seated, sealed, locked in place, free of damage. Okay, we're checking for my air hoses and electrical line. Okay, they are no cuts, no cracks, no chafes, no splice, no tape or worm. And my electrical line has no exposed wires. Then I'm gonna check for my electrical line and I hear no leaks. And the air hoses, I hear no leaks, okay? Now I'm gonna check for my electrical lines and air hoses, they are not, no, no tangle, not touching the cowboy or frame, okay? Okay, I'm gonna continue with the free view of skid play, okay? Right here. I'm gonna check for my free view of skid play, securely mounted to the platform. There's no crack, bang, or broken. Okay, there's no uh, sexy wear. And they have the proper lubrication, that means proper um, uh, wear grease. We're gonna continue here with the kingpin, apron, and gap. First, we're gonna check for the kingpin. Inside there, over there. So we're gonna be all the way in. Right there is the kingpin. The kingpin is in place. No crack, bang, no worn, no broken. The aprons, no crack, bang, or broken, no, no holes, no welding repairs. And there is no gap between the apron and the skid plate, and it's well greased. I continue with the locking jaws, safety devices. So come, come here, go there first. So my locking jaw is over there. It's gonna have to be secure around the kingpin. It's in lock position, secure around the kingpin. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure it has no too much place between the kimpin and the locking jaw. Now I'm gonna check right here. We got the release arm. It is in the engaged position, and right here, this uh, it doesn't slide. It's the free wheel. It doesn't slide. But if we the, if we have a sliding free wheel, we're gonna check for the pins fully engaged and no damage. Okay. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna check right now with the. With the, uh, we're gonna check the landing gear and clearance, okay? 
Okay, when we're checking the landing gear, first we want to check it's fully raised. Okay, if we got no missing parts, no missing any hours. The crack handle is secure right here. And the landing gear members and pads, they are no damage. Okay, so I'm going to check for my rear of the tractor and landing gear sufficient space to make the turns. After the landing gear, we want to check for the reflector tape of the trailer side and rear of the trailer I'm gonna check all my reflector tape they are present they are present side of the trailer and rear of the trailer check my reflector tape are present I fix security to the vehicle okay okay now we're gonna finish the inspection with the lenses on the rear of the trailer. I'm gonna check my cleaners. Okay, the lenses are proper color clean, no broken and no missing. Okay, so we finished the pre tree inspection. It's easy than ever, faster than ever, it's full truck. You're gonna check all the, in the checklist. So remember, in the, the day of the test, the applicant is gonna have this checklist, okay? Okay, so again, my name is Eddie Soler from Soler Soler CDL School.